Hey Owls, welcome to yet another day of boot camp. Now you're also a Facebook expert. You've got a page rocking and rolling and you've got some fabulous tabs going. And now, while you're off working, your page is rocking and rolling too with posts that you scheduled a long time ago. You don't even have to worry about it anymore. So now that you've got all the jewelry bars that you're booking and you've got some events possibly going on, we're going to learn today how to create an event for your Facebook page. That way you can add your hostess and you can talk about the event coming up and just have a great time, invite all of her friends to it who hopefully are going to like your page too. So let's get started. In order to post an event, you will need to locate your tab that says events on it. You can see we've kind of already filled up our tab space here that is shown automatically, but if I click on the down arrow, it'll pop up for me. So here's my events tab, and we're going to simply click on it. Once we get there, it's going to really show my past events because I've been lax in being able to put my upcoming events, although we are slam packed all the way through the mid November. However, it does at least show you that we post as many uh, jewelry bars and pageant or uh, events as we possibly can. And I was about to say pageants because I actually do a lot of pageants. Anyway, at the top right hand corner, there's create event. Simply click on the event button and you will get a pop up. Now, where we're going to happen to be at this particular event is going to be an old fashioned picnic. And in the details section, put as many information type things that you can put in there to make it enticing for people to come to the event, whether it's a jewelry bar or if it's an event like I'm showing you here. Now, in terms of where, it pre-populates in our situation for our title of our page. And we don't want to do it because that's not where we're going to be. So we're going to exit out and remove it. Where we're going to happen to be for this event is the Gwinnett Historic courthouse and because it's a place that uh, a lot of people go to it's probably going to be in the pop-up here as I do it and see there it is so I'm going to click on Gwinnett Historic Courthouse and what that's going to do for me it's going to actually show a location now if it doesn't pop up and if it's somebody's house you're just going to put in their address but make sure that if it's a jewelry bar for a house that that person is willing for you to make their House Street public. If not, just I typically will type in there C uh, written invitation for directions or for the house number or whatever, just so that you have something there. Now, if it's a particular event that requires you to purchase a ticket, you could put the URL address here. This one doesn't, it happens to be free. Now, I'm going to click on when it's going to be. It's actually going to be on October the 12th, and it's going to start at 12 noon. So I'm going to click on 12 noon, and it does have an end time for me, and it actually happens to be 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it pre-populated for me, so I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to click on cr the Create button. Now you have an event page. Next, one of the most important things for you to do is to actually join the event. It's your event. You better be there. So we're going to click on the Join button. Now that actually releases some other buttons for me in order to do things. If I need to go back and make any changes here, I can always click the edit button and a pop-up button will show up and I can make whatever changes I need to. Since I don't, I'm going to hit cancel. But then more importantly, I need to invite some friends or perhaps the hostess of the event or just some guests in general. So I'm going to click on invite friends. It's going to populate for me and this time it's going to pull up all my friends. Now mine's going to take a little while because I happen to have over 3,000 friends. And I can click on them, and I believe that uh, the Facebook, it just keeps repopulating, so the more you do. And you select, you simply select the ones that you want to go. And then you'll hit save. Once you do that, actually I'm going to click off of here. These happen to be people that are on my team, so if they get it, uh, they'll understand why they're getting it. And they'll be fine, because they should be watching this video at some point. And now I'm just going to happen to hit save. Oh, I miss Chris. That's okay. And you can see now that eight people have been invited. And those people will get notifications and they can now join themselves. And then they possibly will come up and pop up in the going section. So that's how you create an event. Tomorrow we'll go a little bit further and make it pretty.
So go set up that Facebook event page, post it down in the area below here in the comments, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye, boot campers. Do not pay all the right.